We are in Microsoft Windows 8, Windows Server 8. I'm going to show you how to turn on and use filter keys. So go ahead and open up the control panel, all control panel items. You can view by large or small icons. From here we'll click on Ease of Access Center. We will scroll down to it says make it easier to focus on tasks. And from here we will go ahead and click on Turn on Filter Keys. So we can ignore or slow down brief or repeated keystrokes and adjust keyboard repeat rate. So this keeps you from making a lot of mistakes if you have difficult time typing, difficulty with coordination, that kind of thing, some kind of a disability. So we can go ahead and click Turn on Filter Keys here. You can also tell it to turn on Filter Keys automatically when the right shift button is pressed for 8 seconds. So if you hold that down for 8 seconds, Filter Keys will come up. You can also tell it to warn you that you're about to turn on Filter Keys, which is kind of handy because sometimes you get into it and you don't realize you've done it. You can also tell it to make a sound when turning on or off Filter Keys as well if you have a hard time seeing that warning. So you have additional options such as turn on Bounce Keys or turn on repeated keys and slow keys. So bounce keys are if you unintentionally bounce your fingers on a key, bounce keys will ignore that if you hold it down for a half second or less. You can also change that to be much longer if you have difficulty in accidentally pressing unintentional keys. You can also turn on repeat keys and slow keys. The computer will ignore brief keystrokes according to the time limits you set. So that's similar to bounce keys, but it's going to be a little bit more detailed. So you've got the how long do you want to hold down a key before your computer accepts the keystroke. So this one is you want it to hold down longer before it actually will accept your keystroke. And you can go all the way up to 20 seconds for that. You can avoid repeated keystrokes when you hold down a key as well. Slow down keyboard repeat rates. So if you hold down a key for uh, a certain amount of time, it'll keep it from pressing that same key over and over and over. And uh, for here, you can go up to two seconds on that. And when done, you can click Apply or click OK.